Hi guys, John Rothery, osteopath. So I'm going to show you some techniques to, to stretch the hamstrings using PNF stretching or proprioneurofacilitation stretching, which will improve the range of movement around that joint. So to test the hamstrings, we take the leg passively in a straight leg position and we feel the position of bind. When we feel the position of bind, from there, what we do is step into a position, rest the foot on the shoulder, and we get the patient with 20% of their strength just to push away, Des. So push away, 20%, doesn't need to turn into a fight. After about eight to 10 seconds, so imagine eight seconds, take a breath in, Des. As you breathe out, we increase that range of movement. What you can do, you can target certain hamstrings using PNF stretching. So on the inside here, we've got the semimembranosus and semitendinosus part of the hamstrings. And on the outside here, we've got the bicep femoris. So what we can do to assess these groups is take the leg up, internal rotate, and take the leg across. And we're obviously looking at the uh, tensile um, flexibility strength of the bicep femoris. Then we external rotate and abduct and we can feel the stretch in the semimembranosus and tendinosus group. If we want to specifically do a PNF stretch here, we can get the patient to squeeze in towards my shoulder. Again, about 20%. We resist it, so it's an isometric contraction. Again, after 10 seconds, to 8 to 10 seconds, we take a breath in, so stop now, breathe in, and we slowly, carefully take that around. We're also getting a bit of a stretch on the uh, gracilis and adductor muscles here as well. Cool. Hi guys, it's John Rothery, osteopath. I'm going to show you some techniques for uh, muscle energy techniques as an osteopath we call them, but as physiotherapists call them PNF stretching, so proprio neuro facilitation. So what we can do now is for the groin or the adductor muscles, inside, the, inside of the thigh you've got the mag adductor magnus, gracilis and longus. What we can do is again test, so we can take the leg out carefully, make sure the foot is in dorsiflexion, is in neutral. We take out and we feel by palpating the muscles, the point of bind. What we do there is get the patient again to squeeze in with 20%, we resist it for about eight to 10 seconds and after, stop breathing, breathe in and we just take that out nice and slowly. If it's both groins are quite tight or both adductor muscles, we can get the patient to bend the knees, external rotate, take the hips and what we can do is step inside and get the patient to squeeze in again. So squeeze in for 10% to 20%. Obviously she's on her end range there because she's shaking a little bit and gently and carefully get the patient to breathe in. And on the out breath of expiration, we're just trying to increase that range of movement. So that's for the adductor group. Cool. So we're gonna do what's called a modified Thomas test. We're gonna get Des, the patient, to hold onto the knee and I'm gonna guide her back and she's gonna roll back. So if you wanna roll back, Des. Step to the bottom of the table. You're gonna take control of this knee. And what I'm doing, I'm gonna support her right knee, but we're assessing this left hip and knee. I'm going to drop the leg down slowly and see where it goes. If the leg goes off to the side, we know that the TFL is tight, that needs some work or maybe some METs. If the le leg held into this position in flexion, we know the hip flexors are tight. And as we drop it down, what we see is the, the leg here is held in extension. So it shows us the rex femoris or rectus femoris is tight. And an MET to show, to improve that, is what we do is take the position of bind Get the patient to kick away with 10% of her strength. So you kick away, Des. We resist it. So it's an isometric contraction. So the quad rectus femoris is firing at the moment. Then we relax. And after 10 seconds, breathe in and breathe out. We just take it back slightly and then give me another squeeze. So that would lengthen the rectus femoris or rectus femoris. If, for example, which is not, the leg was held in this position, which is common in cyclists because in that flex position, what we would do. I'll just show you for demonstration. You can see this is okay, it's, it's quite um, neutral, but if it was held in this flex position, again, we'd support, if you push that thigh up to the ceiling, Des, we'd stretch what's called the iliopsoas muscle. And that'd open up that hip flex. And after 10 seconds, relax, breathe in, and we just open it that way. So these are the MET stretches for um, the quads, which I've shown you, and the hip flexors. Hi guys, John Rothery, osteopath. I'm going to show you some techniques just to increase the flexibility around the joints for the quads and also for the hip flexors. This is my favorite uh, technique I use with my uh, athletes. So what we tend to do is if somebody has a hip flexor tightness problem, so uh, muscles like uh, psoas 
a tight. What we tend to do is keep everything neutral, get the patient to pull towards my hand, so that way, towards that way, Des. Yeah, resist it. So we're activating the psoas muscles, and after 10 seconds, breathe in. We take it back and increase that hip flexion movement. Pull it forward again towards the camera and resist it and then relax and bring it back. If it's a, what a good indication of how tight the quads are is the heel to bum test. So what we can do is we're trying to get that to the bum so that's improving the range of movement. So what we can do to do an MET or PNF stretch for the quads, just kick into my side 10%. Again, activating rec femoris, rectus femoris. Again, 10 seconds and breathe in and stop now. And we try and get that heel to the bum and slowly and progressively, maybe three or four cycles. So kick again, Des. And we're trying to increase that flexibility of the quads. What you don't want to do is the knee drop into adduction or abduction. So we'll make sure it's neutral. Cool.